Hi guys, uh, Mr. Bullock, and this is we're going to go through numbers 11, 12, 13, and 14 on uh, on section two. Okay, here we go. A total of uh, 120,000 votes were cast for two opposing candidates, uh, Garcia and Perez. If Garcia won by a ratio of five to three, what's the number of votes cast for Perez? Okay, when they do these ratios, you guys, and they do these for triangles, the ratio of the angles and all that stuff, you just you set it up like this: five x plus three x equals that total. 120,000 and you solve for X and when I solve for X you guys I get 150,000 okay and it says uh, for Perez and Perez Perez was the second guy so he's the 3x so I gotta multiply that by 3 and uh, not 150,000 sorry uh, 15,000 sorry uh, so I go 3 times 15,000 3 times 15,000 and I get choice uh, C Okay, number 12. Uh, if a positive integer n is picked at random from the positive integers less than or equal to 10, what's the probability that it solves that equation? Okay, let's go back to this, this positive integer n. Okay, positive integers are counting numbers, you guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, ten. Uh, positive integer n less than or equal to, so 10 is included. All right, now let's just solve this inequality. 5n plus 3 less than or equal to 14. Subtract 3 on both sides. And I get 5n is less than or equal to 11. So n is less than or equal to, and I divide 11 in by 5, I get 2.2. So what integers uh, satisfy that? The only integers that satisfy that are these two. And there are uh, two integers, remember, number of favorable outcomes. I see two of them that are favorable fall into that category, and there were 10 total, so that reduces to one fifth. Choice C. Okay, number 13. If t is a number greater than 1, then t squared is how much greater than t? Okay, um, let's see. Then t squared is how much greater than t. That's what it's asking. That is what. So, look you guys, uh, looking at all these choices right here, here, it's right here. It's choice D. Because when I GCF a t out of both of these and I pull it out of that, I have one t left and I pulled it out of that, I'm left with that. It's choice D. Okay, number 14. Now they're getting progressively harder. Remember, they start off easy and they should start getting progressively harder. The height of a right circular cylinder uh, is 5 and its diameter, okay, key thing right there, its diameter of its base is 4. Okay, let's draw a right circular cylinder. Okay, it says the height is 5 and the whole diameter is 4. That means I'll go down here, the radius is 2. I need that 2 right there, I think. What's the distance from the center of one base to a point on the circumference? Okay, they want this distance from here to a point on the circumference. I'm going to go up to that point right there because now I have a right triangle. Let me pull that right triangle out. Okay, there's my right angle. This is 2, this is 5. I've got to use old Pythagoras here. I'm looking for that distance right there. So. 2 squared plus 5 squared equals x squared. Here I get 4 plus 25 equals x squared. So 29 equals x squared. So there it is. x is the square root of 29.